What up, YouTube? This is Deep Fried Beats coming at you with a video on the Allen and Heath Q24 Windows DAW control. Okay, I mean, I keep, you know, I've been, you know, I've had this thing for a year and a half, never set it up, but I finally just, you know, took a day and set it up. Um, I'm still, I, I still look back on the forums every now and then, and I'll see where people are talking about, oh, I can't get this set up. You know, this was actually super simple. It just takes a long time, and it's pretty tedious, the same shit over and over and over again. But I'll say once it's done, it's completely worth it. And, you know, I'm going to actually show you some other videos. Um, this board can actually be used to, um, to, you know, on the organs to turn the levers and stuff, whatever those are called. Uh, I knew what those were called, but I forgot. But anyways, it doesn't even matter. Uh, you can actually control those levers and shit on, on like the organs and some other things with these faders as well. Uh, that's a whole nother tutorial. We won't even worry about that shit right now because uh, this video is actually about the DAW control. Okay, I use Windows, okay? Uh, I mean, yes, people say, oh, you should have got a Mac, blah, blah, blah. Well, not too worried about it. I use Windows, real powerful PC here, uh, quad core. Anyways, um, okay, what I'm going to show you is the DAW control. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, new project. Now, I went ahead and just set up, created my own template uh, with a 24-track stereo audio. Uh, with but once you got your your controller set up you I mean it basically will save so every time you open a new project no matter what project you open it's always gonna load uh, and then you'll your faders hill here will actually every time you load a new say an instrument or an audio track or whatever whatever it'll just go to the next track uh, VSTIs will actually be controlled with these with these faders as well so say you have an audio track or you know a couple audio tracks and then um, Say so you throw in a VST somewhere in there. The VSTs, I think, usually get pushed to the front. Uh, you might be able to push them to the back. Uh, I really don't care where it goes. Uh, but anyways, I try to bounce my VSTs down to audio anyway, uh, which is, you know, once Cubase threw in the render in place, oh, God, it made it so much better. But anyways, notice this. I'm going to open up this 24-track uh, uh, DAW control uh, or 24-track audio uh, using the DAW control template that I made. And as you'll notice, these all the faders um, in this template are set to zero dB. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead and just open it. Uh, so once I open it, bam, all the faders pop up. So uh, the first thing I'm just going to show you real quick, something that I thought was really cool. You know, a lot of people probably like this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to throw this in an audio track. Before I do that, okay, so we went ahead and just threw audio in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a quick automation, volume automation. Uh, so, right off the bat, let's throw in a little volume automation. Let's say. We want it. I'm just going to draw it in. This would be a lot easier. You can actually record it in with the fader itself. Uh, but just for purposes, I just drew one in real quick. Check this out. But, another thing, but then I can mute it. Solo it. I don't have any other tracks, so solo really doesn't matter right now. And if you notice, I can use the select buttons. So, just using the green select, solo, mute. I mean, it does basically everything. Unfortunately, I could not get the pan to work. If I can get the pan to work, I'll make another video later on with that. Uh, but, for right now, I'm just going to show you how I you know, set it up. Or if you want to just uh, download, I'll, I can export the actual remote device that I've created. I export it, put it somewhere for you guys to download and uh, hopefully check out. It only, unfortunately, it only works in Cubase 8.5 um, because that's all I've used, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I can make it, uh, it'll probably work in older Cubases as well though, uh, if you have an older version. Um, so basically, here's the remote that I've made basically. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you an idea. So I got Fader 1 as a controller. Uh, 
you know, and I got it remote and talk or receive and transmit. So since the transmit is so that Cubase can actually send it back to me, to the, to the mixer, and that's why the faders will move. Uh, receive, if you just want to send your MIDI, um, MIDI controller to the, um, to the DAW, then you can do that and the faders won't move unless you, you know, actually select transmit. Now, down here, real simple, we're going to set it up to a VST mixer for audio channel 1 and it's going to control volume. Uh, down here, same thing, VST mixer, audio 23, and we did it for solo. And this is we actually did push button and toggle. Uh, and up top, if you notice, all these, your MIDI status has to be a note on. When you actually hit the, the solo buttons, uh, when you learn it, it's going to set it to note off. You'll have to go back and reset those to note on because otherwise it won't work. Uh, you know, and then, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I mean, real simple, nothing nothing too hard. You just gotta make sure that you, you set the top, and then you gotta go down to the bottom and, you know, set it up and tell it what, it what it's supposed to do and what it's gonna actually control. Again, you'll have to do this for every single button. I mean, the faders are kind of already set up, and the mute buttons are, were already kind of set up, but you'll have to go ahead and add, like if you have the 24 or 32 track, you'll have to add more. But again, it's just real simple. It just takes a lot of time. So, you know, again, DAW control working. Oh, and, and then, you know, when you go back to, when you actually close the track out, it knows it, and bam, we'll just go ahead and delete it. So I'm closing the track right now. Bam, it knows it. So again, that's DAW Control set up on Windows 8.1. I hope you liked this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If not, uh, you can just give it a thumbs down or just, you know, whatever. But DAW Control, Windows, uh, Cubase 8.5. This has been Deep Fried Beats, and I'm out. Peace.